Hi, my name's Ian. I work in the Solution Architecture team here at Matillion. Today, I'll be showing you how to configure your Matillion instances with an SSL certificate for HTTPS. This will allow you to securely access your Matillion instance without any browser warnings. Let's get started. The steps I'm going to show in this video are the same for all of the cloud platforms that Matillion can use, whether it's AWS, Azure, or Google Cloud. I've subscribed to Matillion ETL and I've launched a virtual machine for my development environment. I've copied its IP address for my cloud console and I've typed the IP address into my web browser. It's not working because I haven't yet opened the firewall in my cloud account, so it doesn't matter what web browser I use, I get the same error in Chrome, in Firefox and in Internet Explorer. I went into my cloud console there to allow firewall access to my own IP address, so it should work now when I try again. Best practice here is to restrict access to just your own IP address or your office IP address. Both HTTP and HTTPS are enabled by default. The best practice is to always use HTTPS because it's encrypted. It's especially important if you're accessing Matillion over the public internet like I'm doing here. In fact, you'll need to use HTTPS if you intend to use any OAuth authentication later on. Using an HTTPS prefix this time, it's refusing to let me into the site Instead, it's displaying this privacy warning. It's a very similar message if I try with Chrome, with Firefox, or with Internet Explorer. Really, there's no data privacy risk here. All the network traffic will be encrypted. And even though my web browser doesn't know it, I know perfectly well that it's my Matillion instance which is running at this IP address. So you can just click through and use Matillion perfectly fine out of the box with HTTPS. You'll just always see that annoying not secure warning. Web browsers don't trust Matillion's default self-signed SSL certificate, so I'm going to replace that certificate with a new one. You have to use a real domain name with an SSL certificate rather than a dotted IP address like I've been doing up until now. So you will need to do some DNS setup to give your server a domain name. You can manage that yourself through your domain registrar, or you could use a cloud provider service like Route 53, Cloud DNS, or Azure DNS. I've got my own domain name, so I'll type that into the address bar, and this is for my development instance. The browser still doesn't trust it, so I still get the warning, and I have to click through again. I can use Matillion just fine and completely securely like this. It just has that not secure message in the address bar. I can see, for example, the jobs that I've already created in my development environment. You'll need to go to a commercial provider to get an SSL certificate for your domain. Then you can go to the admin menu to upload your private key and the SSL certificate. If you do this through the UI, it will destroy the original files and you won't be able to revert. So best practice at this point is to SSH into your server and take a backup of the two files like this. Back into the admin menu, locate your files and upload them. There are some restrictions. Uh, the files need to be in PEM format, which is human readable, and they need to have a .key and a .crt extension. I have to rename my files. There must be no password on the key file. And if you have a certificate chain, concatenate all the certificate files together into one single big file. The user interface sometimes won't upload files and doesn't give you an error message. In that case, sometimes it's simpler to upload the files via another SSH session, like this. After making changes to the SSL files, you'll need to restart Matillion in order for them to take effect. Okay, I waited a couple of minutes there to give it a chance to restart. So in my web browser, I'll go to exactly the same HTTPS address again. And this time the browser's happy, there's no more warning message. So I've finished configuring my development instance now. I also have a separate production VM. 
Its address is nearly the same, just with prod at the beginning rather than dev. Matillion doesn't distinguish between dev and prod in any way. I can tell right now because there are no jobs yet in production, but once I start promoting jobs and the folder structures become the same, it's going to be really difficult to tell them apart, and it's going to be pretty easy for me to start working on the wrong instance by accident. So if you have a setup like this, as a best practice, I'd recommend you use a Chrome add-on called Environment Marker. It works off the URL, so you can set a separate color scheme for dev and for production. Now, when I refresh the screens, I can easily tell them apart. I hope that helped you configure your Matillion instance with HTTPS and SSL. For more information, please visit matillion.com and subscribe to this channel for future updates. Thank you.